Welcome to Indie Resources' first video on making a web-based isometric game using the Isogenic Engine. Um, basically, I kind of tossed around the idea of an isometric game and whether building it from scratch or using an engine and I came across the Isogenic Engine and it's kind of the perfect of all worlds. It's got a free version, it's also got a paid for, paid for version. The free version is missing some functionality, especially multiplayer. The paid for version is extremely cheap depending on what discount you get at the time it's anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks so for an engine that gives you this much functionality that's pretty good it's well worth doing some tutorials over and kind of using it because it um, it definitely it makes your life a lot easier when trying to make an isometric game through the web um, this first video is basically going to be just kind of set up getting everything started getting your uh, main applications downloaded getting it downloaded and kind of getting we're going to kind of just put have at least a base to go off of and get some examples set up and going. Um, so to start off, I want to say, like most of my videos, if you have any questions, if you've already paid for the engine, you can, of course, ask the um, the creator right there in the um, GitHub, but also you can go to Indie Resource, and we have a section down here, and it's probably going to change uh, eventually, but we do have the section down here. We'll probably make it its own section eventually. But um, for now, you can go here and ask any questions on the videos, and we have people there that can answer and so forth. Um, so to start out with, whether you're going to get the free version or not, you go to the go to isogenicengine.com. Um, here you can do the free version download, or you can go ahead and pay for the the version. Right now it's 70% off for the the paid for, which equals like 20 bucks, which is well well worth it. You try to get an, an engine anywhere near this, um, anywhere else you're going to pay a lot more. So it's definitely worth it. And let me go ahead and say, I'm not tied to this engine in any way. I'm not making any money off this. I just came across it. I really like it. The Everybody in Indie Resource seems to like it, so we're just going to kind of start building off this. So go ahead and download whatever version you get, whether you bought it or not. And some of you may be watching this who already bought it. So once you get it, you'll get access to, whether you get in the free version, you'll, you'll be able to link directly to the GitHub for the free version. Or if you get full access after you pay for it, you'll get access to the actual engine. And there's, there's different ways of doing this too, but for now, to make it easy, we're going to start out with just downloading the zip. Go ahead and download the zip. Once you get the zip, um, place it somewhere, and it's going to be a zip file. Now I'm I'm using WAMP for my um, from basically everything tied into one as far as my uh, server, my Apache server, my database, um, everything like that. And if you've watched my other videos before, you know that I just use WAMP. So if you don't have WAMP and you don't have anything that you're using, you can just go to WAMPserver.com and download WAMP server. And once you, uh, if you, if you need to know how to install it or anything like that, look at some of my older tutorials and it'll show you how to install it. But it's extremely simple and I don't want to waste a bunch of time going through that. But you'll, you will have this green icon. If that icon is not green, if it's anything else, if you've got any other kind of SQL server running like Microsoft SQL or anything like that, you need to go ahead and turn those off. Um, do your control and delete and kind of look for anything that's running MySQL or anything like that and go ahead and close those out. But this this should be running green. If you have any issues, you're better off going to the forums here in WAMP server and asking them. They can get you up a lot faster than what we probably can at any resource. We, we can answer some questions, but these guys are already kind of set up for this, so you'd be better off here. Um, so once you install that, um, and get that running, you, you now have your, your web server. And like I said, I'm not going to go with a whole bunch of that, but it'll be located under wherever you install it, WAMP, and then www. Um, then, after you download your Isogenic, we're pretty much ready other than Node, but I'm not going to go over Node just yet. That's going to be towards the end of the video because there are going to be some people using the free version that's not going to have the multiplayer version. So let's get started with, once you get it downloaded... Um, you're going to want to unzip it. And I'm just going to go ahead and unzip it. And if you kind of open this up, you'll see that it's got everything you need in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and unzip it right where it's at in the www folder. And once that ex is extracted, we can kind of pull apart the pieces of it because we don't necessarily need everything. It's got a lot of examples and other things like that. So let me show you how I did it. And this is the easiest way for me. And if you want to do it different later, that's fine. But the easiest setup for me was to go in here and pull the engine out of here. So we're just going to copy. And I wouldn't cut it because you're going to need other parts of it, possibly want to change it, and you just want to have it downloaded. So basically, I pasted that in my www folder. So it's there. <clears throat> go back in here. Go into your examples. Scroll down to your assets. And eventually, we are going to change this. But now we're just going get to get everybody up and running so they have something. So we're going to go ahead and paste this 
in our www folder as the asset so we can find it. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to grab, let's go into examples and let's find something that's not going to be a multiplayer. Let's try, and to be honest with you, I never downloaded the um, the, exam, the actual non-paid for version. So it may be a little different than this, but the it, whatever it is, I'm sure it has an example in there and it's pretty much set up the same. I may have to double check on this and if it's not, just send me a, a, a message and if I have to make a separate video for that, I will. But, but anyway, so let's look at something that doesn't have multiplayer. Um, I believe we can run this without multiplayer, so let's grab this one. So we're going to go to 6.1 animation. We're going to copy that. And we're going to go back. And we're going to paste it right back here in the www folder. Now, I don't want to have to type all this stuff in, so I'm just going to call this 6 1, 61. Just to make it easy, and you'll understand why here in a minute. So go into your browser. And as far as WAMP server is going, as long as you have this running, and like I said, if, if you've never installed WAMP server before, just install it. And if you have any problems, go to Indie Resource, figure it out, or go to WAMP server. But it's really easy. It's all pretty much easy installation. Watch one of my older videos, especially the first video to building a browser-based MORG, and it shows you how to install all this. So, like I said, I don't really want to go through a whole bunch of that. So if we just um, open up a browser window and we do localhost slash 61, and I put in a 2 there. That's the other thing about my tutorials. I don't like them to be exactly perfect, so I do I do a lot of this stuff on the fly. So you see it is working, um, which is pretty amazing. I mean, all these little guys running around in a browser, a lot of things going on here. If you mouse over some of them, you'll see um, it'll bring up stats on the little characters and everything. Pretty impressive, quite impressive. Now, you don't want this really slowing you down, so I'm just going to hit the back key just so it goes back on this. So basically what we did there, real simple setup. We took the engine, we downloaded into our www folder. You don't necessarily have to put this here. I just, for ease of use, I do. Um, you put your engine out here so it knows where to find the engine and you put your assets out here so it can find the assets. When we go to make our own game, we're gonna change a lot of that. But like I said, I'm just trying to get everybody up and started for now. Um, so the next thing, let's look at multiplayer. <clears throat> so if we go back to our Oh, I'm sorry, not to our engine. If we go back to our, our main file and we go into examples, and if you scroll down to the uh, multiplayer isometric mouse, let's grab that one. Let's copy that. Let's bounce back out. And let's paste it here. And let's rename it just for the fact that I don't want to have to type all that in. Once again, let's just do 24. Like I said, we're not really going to be using this a whole lot. Um, we, we probably will start with this as a base, but for now, let's just make it easy. So we have our 24. Now, the thing we don't have, the only thing I haven't asked you, have you guys install is Node. Node's, Node.js is needed for your multiplayer. So let's create a new tab and let's go to Node.js. <clears throat> it's Node.js.org. Go ahead and install this. Now, I already have it installed, but install it. Once it installs, the big thing about it is it's got to um, change your system environmental variables to where you guys can actually type in Node and it knows where to find Node. So once you install it, you might as well pause the video here in a second, install it, restart your computer, and then come back to the video wherever the, the timer's at. And um, that way you guys will be on the same page because if you don't, it won't recognize what we're, what we're trying to do here as far as the NPM and the Node.js. So install it, restart, come back right here. Okay, so now that everybody's installed Node, you've restarted, you may have already had Node and already did the restart or whatever and just skipping through it, but regardless, now that everybody has Node, now we can move on to the multiplayer side of things. The one thing we now need to do is go ahead and do a quick install to the server on IGE for our Node. So here's basically what we got to do. Um, if you pull back up your, and I kind of did this in the meantime because I didn't want you guys waiting on me or whatever, but if you're in your WAMP www folder, if you go to cd ige dash master, if you installed everything where I installed it, and then do ige, and like I said, this probably isn't the best way to do it as far as the directories, but it's not going to matter here in a minute. So once you get there, then go to your server folder, and then type in npm install. And I'm not going to hit enter because I've already done this, but what that's going to do, you're going to see basically this right here. This is going to get everything ready for your multiplayer. Quick, simple steps, and you're pretty much done. And that's going to take a couple minutes, so you might want to pause the video. But when you get back, that's basically going to run. 
and you're ready to go. Now that you're already in your server file, after that's installed and you haven't had any errors, if you've had some errors, go to Andy Resource, put them in, and we'll, we'll try to solve them for you. Um, once that's installed, now you can actually run the server. So basically what we want to do is, and if you gotta, if you go out here and you look in your directory just so you understand what's going on, you have this IGE.js. This is basically your server. I'm going to show you guys how to make a, a pretty much a bat file, which is like an EXE we just double click on. But for now, we're going to be doing some examples of switching back and forth. It's not a good idea. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to type in node space IGE. Uh, let me get this out of the way so I don't mess it up. IGE.js, and you need to put a dash G. And then now we need to run whatever server that, or whatever directory that we're going to find the server. Now the directory is actually outside of our file. So then we're going to run, and just to show you guys where I'm going here, we're going to pull back out of our file. And we're going to come up to the 24, and we're just going to run the 24, and it's going to find the rest for us. And it didn't find it. That would be because I left. Oh, we're. You just basically got to go out outside of the directory until it finds it. Okay, we're connecting. So basically, I had to come out of the directory a couple times. That was my bad. Um, so now it says server now accepting connection. So what it, basically what it did, so I don't lose anybody. We're inside this IGE master, and this is going to get a lot more simpler once we actually start building our own game. I'm just trying to get examples running just so everybody feels a little little better about what exactly is going on. But if you come into the server, we're running this, so it has to come out of this directory. It has to come out of this directory. It has to come out of this directory, and it needs to go into this. 24 directory and it's set up to automatically look for the server JS which is already in here. This of course is a, um, a d this is kind of an example that's just going to show us. So if we come in here and we go to our 24 directory now and we run the index it's going to load up and it looks like we may have an error so let's pull up our F12 if you're in Chrome and let's see if we have any error. It said uh, failed to load resource the, the CSS file so that's easy to fix. So if we come in here, we go back, we go into our master file, we go into our examples, there should be a CSS file, let's copy it, let's go back, and let's paste it, and let's refresh. And there we go. So we have this guy moving around. Now, isometric, exactly what we wanted, easy setup. Basically, downloaded the engine, downloaded Node. Now here's where it gets good. Let's um, let's pop this down to where we can actually see some other things. Let's move it over here, and let's pull up and let's copy our local host, and let's pull up another Chrome. Let's move it over here, and let's paste. And once it loads up, we've got full multiplayer working that easy. Let's drop this to F12 down. So we basically got two players running. It's running across the server. It's passing everything that's going on. And this is an awesome foundation for us to set up really simply. We basically spent 10, 15 minutes setting up something that would literally would have took us quite a few hours to set up if we were to do it by hand. Um, and we can also come here. We can move this over just a little bit. We can bring up another window just as an example. And you see now we have three players running. So pretty neat. Um, this is a good foundation for us to start. The next video I'm going to do is actually creating um, more um, entities. We're going to create some entities and put on here like trees or maybe even a, a creature that we can fight or whatever. But we're going to slowly build this thing up. So this is a great foundation to start with and we're slowly going to build up. Now I, I'm hoping I didn't lose anybody on this video so let's do a quick recap. Let's close some of this out real quick. Um, so basically you're going to have and you can and here's the other thing. If you if you want to play around with this go back into your IG master. Come in here to your examples and you can pull out some of these other examples. Like there is a, I'll tell you a real good example, is the multiplayer WebGL. Let's copy that one. Let's come back here. Go ahead and close your command prompt. 
and stop the server basically and we are going to come up trust me this is going to get a lot cleaner i'm just basically setting everything up this is 24.3 so let's just talk, call it 243 for now like i said we're going to name our own game here in a minute we're going to delete all these files so it doesn't really matter now the important thing is you can't run the server that you were just running you need to run it from the 243 directory so what we need to do is we need to come over and bring back up our command prompt and oh yep so we'll do cd backslash www wamp IGE master slash IG dash master. Oh, I would mess that up. Let's start off slow. Okay, so now we need to go to the server file. And then we type in node space IGE dot JS dash G. And then we just need to tell it what directory, which I believe was three of these, right? Now, you could take the server file and put it and make it a lot easier. But like I said, we're going to be dropping the server file into our actual game. And so we're going to be changing this a lot later. So there's really no point. And we called it 243, right? And so we're now, server is now accepting connections. So if we go to our localhost, localhost 243, and it's loading. So we have the ship here, and I believe you can turn it with your arrows. So let's pop this over here. Let's just copy this to make it easier. Let's bring up another window. And we're going to let it load. So basically, this is um, well, let me, this is 3D, your WebGL, and you've got some multiplayer going here. And this is a basic setup that he just put in his example, which is still a cool example, but just showing you there is some multiplayer functionality in the WebGL, too. That's an easy, simple setup. So if you guys want to play around and go into this IGE Master and kind of pull some of these examples out, it's a lot of fun. He's got some really cool examples in here, and you guys can get used to it. And then on the next video, we'll start actually adding things to our game and actually turning this into an actual game file.